So today I'm going to be doing something very exciting. I'm going to be baking a cake. So today we're going to be making a chocolate orange and almond cake, which I have never made before, but I'm super excited. Uh, the recipe is actually from my very, 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 very good friend, Kim, who owns the most wonderful cafe and now deli shop in London. She's based in Highbury Islington, literally just by Highbury Fields, and it's just the best place, I think ever really so kim if you're watching thank you so much for giving me the recipe um i hope i can make it so today's ingredients uh we have an orange some almond flour some cooking chocolate baking powder vanilla extract olive oil and a whole lot of cast sugar. There's actually so much here. Um, so yeah, and my mixing bowl and a tin. Um, I don't actually have a whisk, uh, so I just have to make use of a fork and a wooden spoon. Cool. I actually forgot as well. I need eggs. Uh, so, sorry for all you vegans, this is not a vegan recipe, but it is dairy free. There probably is a vegan recipe out there somewhere, but sorry guys. First of all, I need to segment, seg segment, I need to segment an orange. So I actually don't know how to segment an orange, um, so I'm just going to cut it and just hope that um, I, I think the, I just need to take the white off it, I'm pretty sure. Don't judge me if I'm doing anything wrong because I am not a pro, but I, you know, I just really enjoy it. Um, I just don't really know where to look either. Um, I feel like after each video I'm just getting more and more awkward in front of the camera. Um, I don't know why. I'm literally cutting up this orange. Um, I'm like, I feel like I've dissected it, like I've literally just had to wear this orange. I don't think there is, if anyone can teach me how to segment an orange, that would actually be amazing. Oh my gosh, it's actually like a massive orange. Oh, I thought it was those ones where you like, you can't peel it. I feel like I can't peel it. Look. To any pro baker that is watching this, um, I am actually really sorry. Um, I really hope I've not offended you um, or the baking industry um, by this. So yeah, that's the oranges are done. Okay, so the oranges are done. So the next step is the eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack my eggs into the bowl. in the bowl and then I need to add sugar to it. So that's just going in here. So I've got my sugar and my eggs and then I literally just need to whisk it up. Um, but I don't have a whisk because I'm so unprepared. Um, so I need to go buy a whisk. Uh, obviously not today, we'll just make use with a fork and we'll just whisk it up. start I was using almond flour but I'm actually using ground almonds I don't know if there's a massive difference um but yeah these are ground almonds I've got my eggs and my sugar and then I've got my ground almonds and my baking powder in here and what I'm gonna do is literally just put that in there and 
hope that was the right thing to do. Um, and then with my wooden spoon, I'm just gonna mix, mix this in, I guess. Part of me wishes I'd asked for like an electric mixer for my birthday, because that was on the list, but I took it off, because they're just bloody expensive. I'm going to add my olive oil. I'm just going to measure approximately one teaspoon of my vanilla essence. And this olive oil is really, really nutty. So I don't even know if I've used the right, um, right oil. I keep looking at myself and it's really off-putting. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like regular batter just because of the ground almonds. Um, but it smells smells amazing. Let's hope it tastes good. Excuse the mess, but as you can see, I have added the orange segments into the cake mix. So I'm just gonna gently fold it in. And this is kind of the stage where I panic that I haven't put every single ingredient in. I think I have. My granny rang me whilst I was doing the last bits on the cake, uh, so I didn't film it. Um, I what did I do? I just chopped up some cooking chocolate, so they kind of look like chocolate chips, and just sprinkled them on top of the cake when I put the batter in the, in the tin. This is the first time I've baked with ground almonds before, so I don't know how it's meant to look. Um, it smelled good though. So yeah, I will show you guys how it turned out. Okay, so it is out the oven. Um, it looks a little bit burnt, I'm not gonna lie, but it smells amazing, so I'm hoping it tastes good. That didn't actually go as bad as I thought, but, oh, the table shaking. The bottom of the cake stuck to the tin which I managed to salvage, so it's actually fine, so the whole cake is put together. I don't know if you can see, let me show you. So that's what it looks like, oh gosh, that, that's what it looks like. Um, I don't know if it's meant to look like this, I'm gonna send a message uh, to Kim who gave me the recipe and just see if this is cut. So I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know what I think. It's all right. I hope you've had fun watching me bake. Not the most interesting thing, but I hope you've had fun. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I will.